farmers take care of the trucking in Rexburg, so Jacob and I had time to run up to northern Idaho and visit a good friend that used to live back east. Somehow the old Taurus made it the whole way up and back. It only left us set once, right in the middle of Coeur d'Alene. We drove down the very eastern edge of the Palouse and stopped to visit some people in Plummer. Of course we had to stop and get some boots at a boot shop in Spokane, Washington before we left. The afternoon after we got back, the hydraulic pump went out in Duane's Combine. The closest one to be had was at a dealership in South Dakota, about 12 hours away. So Jason and I ran up overnight to Billings, Montana, where somebody from the dealership met us with the hydraulic pump. Got to watch a beautiful sunset on the way up. We got back at about 6 o'clock the next morning. See how a shadow falls across the See? I still can't believe how tall. I helped Walgamoose out over at Mud Lake for two days running some rather sus 10-wheeler potato trucks. I'll just set the parking brake on this thing. Yeah, I guess we're leaving it in gear. Ronnie's combine was throwing codes and not running right, so we pulled everything off the top of the engine so that we could get to the valve covers and replace some of the injector wiring. So this one real drive developed a crack right there. So you'd think they would just bring the hoses in from the single point, do some kind of a loop over to the from the adapter to the header, and then go where they need to go. But no. All these hoses here, I mean, some of them come into this block. I'm guessing that's, oh, that's for the, the extra cylinder there. But all these hoses come in here, go across to the other side, and then they go into the header. McDon, why have you done this? Hard to see, but I don't think I'm going down this way. I'm gonna have to go down over there somewhere. And that's where I came from. I think I ended up coming down something like that. I think that used to be the dam. I would have gone across there and there. And then there's a spillway on top of that hill. But yeah. 
It's a pretty neat place. Why am I doing this? I decided to come up here, but I'm literally digging out footholds with my Nipex to get up. <laughs> what am I doing? It is a pretty cool view though. Now I have to get the whole way back over there where the pickup is. Made it. If you look really closely, right there is Jace and Johnny. Jace is going to jump in. Oh, there he goes. So I went down here somewhere, then went over around the back of this. I think this used to be the dam, would have come across there, but around the back of here, and then came down and up over here somewhere through the woods. It's a pretty cool spot. There was this old homestead behind where we were staying that we went to check out one evening.
guy. I think this is the nicest Peterbilt I've been in. We're cutting with Walgreens in this big field. Got four combines going.
<laughs> Come where? Uh, I'm coming right here. Get me up. Are you lifting you up, Koa? No. I want to get up. No, cat. You suck. Go higher. Get, go get it like some something to feed it. Lower it down. No, it's, it's Spray. Just grab the dumpling and <laughs> chuck it. <laughs> right over your head behind you. Land in the field. Hey. No. <laughs> the cat's no. grabbing him instead. <laughs> <laughs> I grab you, you don't grab me, you know? The cat says, hey, hey, hey. Mm. Just hold your hand there. It might crawl down onto it. <laughs> oh, you tiny. Hey, hey, hey! Get you down now. Get <laughs> down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Just grab it by the scruff of the neck. I'm trying. It's right there when I get close. That one right there squeezing that, you ain't really doing nothing. You can like get that one. If I can get out of that. That's what I mean. It's still real with the cat. You can show it to go broad. He's not trying. We're gonna go for a little ride, okay? <laughs> no, cool. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> I'm just saying, his paws are out, so be very careful what you do. <laughs> right up the tree again. <laughs> yeah, go get it before it goes up the tree. I'm gonna catch out the tree, get your That's the cat. Hey, hey, Daddy! Daddy! It's gonna go! Stop kidding, go!
working on loading up here at Agri Service in Rexburg. We took the equipment into town the evening before we left so we wouldn't have to go quite as far the next day. Got the trailer all packed up. Got our cargo net on. Let's see if it keeps everything in place. It wasn't quite as chaotic in here as last time. I taped the refrigerator and stuff shut because that had opened up. The microwave had fallen on the floor. 
first leg of the trip, so we put that down. But it's always a bit chaotic back here. That's how much these chains are each on the way down. Crazy, I had it tight, checked it a couple times. <laughs> 